In this video, I will be discussing the current treatment of wet macular degeneration. Up until 2006, there were very limited treatments available for this condition. And interestingly, the treatments that are currently available develop from tumour research. In order for a tumour to grow, it needs a blood supply. And it was noted that there was a particular molecule called vascular endothelial growth factor that was produced to enable stimulation of blood vessels to allow tumours to enlarge. And therefore research uh, occurred to look for drugs that combated this vascular endothelial growth factor, or anti-VEGF drugs as they're called. And it was noted that anti-VEGF drugs could strangulate the blood supply of a tumour and cause the tumour to regress. Some researchers in Florida thought that although wet macular degeneration was not associated with tumour formation, it was associated with abnormal blood vessel development and wondered whether these anti-VEGF drugs could also reduce these blood vessels being formed in wet macular degeneration. And lo and behold, it was noted that anti-VEGF drugs were also effective in not allowing blood vessels to form or causing blood vessels to regress and reduce the leakage associated with these blood vessels. So the anti-VEGF drugs that are now currently available, Lucentis, Avastin and Ilea, all act by trying to reduce the leakage from these abnormal blood vessels that have developed in wet macular degeneration. Unfortunately, these drugs cannot be taken as a tablet because they would be dissolved by the enzymes in the stomach. So they have to be given directly where they're needed with an injection with a very fine needle under local anaesthetic drops into the eye, into the main eye cavity, where they then diffuse into the retina and have their effect. The landmark studies, the Marina and Anchor studies, demonstrated for the first time that if you inject one of these drugs, Lucentis, every month for two years, in most patients it prevents the vision from getting worse, and in about one third of the patients it improves the vision. And this was the first time ever that we noted any significant improvement in vision in patients with wet macular degeneration. And also the natural history is one of significant deterioration of vision, so even maintaining vision in itself is a useful thing to have. In the UK at the moment, we do not inject every month indefinitely. We tend to inject uh, one uh, injection a month over a three-month period as a loading dose of the anti-VEGF drug and then monitor the situation to see whether top-up injections are needed. And the requirement for top-ups would be whether the vision is deteriorating, if there's any fresh hemorrhage at the back of the eye, or if there's increased leakage. And the leakage is best assessed with a scan called an OCT scan, ocular coherence tomography, which is a non-invasive way of assessing swelling within the retina. It is also important for you, the patient, to monitor the vision whilst you're having this treatment because if top-ups are needed, it's important to give top-ups as quickly as possible as well as diagnosing wet macular degeneration and instigating treatment as quickly as possible. And a very useful way of doing that is by looking at a chart called an Amsler chart, which is a grid with a black spot in the centre. And you should either use your reading glasses or bifocals certainly avoid very focus if at all possible and with one eye at a time you cover one eye then cover the other eye look at the black spot in the centre of the Amsler grid and what you should see are straight lines creating a grid pattern of squares. If you were to notice the lines becoming kinked or distorted or the squares being blurred it could suggest a change in your macular degeneration for the worst in which case treatment might be needed sooner rather than later. You also, even with wet macular degeneration, need to have optical uh, improvements in vision with magnifiers, with good lighting and so forth. So it is very useful to still be seen in a low visual aid clinic. And also, if the vision is significantly reduced, you need to be um, placed on either the visually impaired register or the severe sight impaired register. So the social services are aware of your needs, can benefit you in the home and financially. And obviously lighting is also important with any patient with wet macular degeneration. So the treatments for wet macular degeneration have significantly improved in the last few years and will continue to improve. 